All right, everyone. So Colorado has a ton of towns, and I have been to most of them. Yes, even towns that look like this. And to make things easier for you when you're checking out Colorado, I have made a list of the top 11 towns to visit. First up, we have Colorado Springs. This is a town you should check out whether you live or are visiting the great state of Colorado. You can find almost everything in this area, like if you want to climb or hike America's highest mountains, or check out strange geological features in the plains east of Colorado. Of course, you have Garden of the Gods, along with other red rock parks around the town. You have an awesome zoo where you can feed the giraffes. You have a cave you can explore. You have old mines you can tour. And above town, you're going to have a lot of awesome hiking along streams, lakes, and waterfalls. And if you want to see more of that, I have a video about the best things to do in Colorado Springs. Link is up in the corner or in the description below. What I personally like about Colorado Springs is that there seems to be something to do here pretty much any time of the year. Next we have the town of Winter Park. About an hour from Denver, this town is a great visit. Obviously you can find skiing here, but in the summer the resort offers a lot of summer activities as well. There are great restaurants up and down the main street, and a ton of hiking opportunities to both the east and the west. I personally like exploring the mountains to the east of town or driving up Rollins Pass, which is a little bit difficult, so I suggest a high clearance vehicle for that route. Next we have the town of Uray, also known as the Switzerland of the Americas. What makes this town unique is it's situated in this box canyon, so it's surrounded by mountain views and waterfalls all around. The town also has this awesome iconic Main Street and hot springs right in town. It is also sitting at the base of the Million Dollar Highway, which is just a great drive to take and check out the views. What I personally like about this town is going off-roading or hiking the mini mountains around here. Next, we have Estes Park, which is the base camp for Rocky Mountain National Park, sitting right on the border of the park itself. Of course, there's other hiking and exploring opportunities besides Rocky Mountain National Park in this area, like Indian Peaks Wilderness to the south. On top of this, the town also has a lot of other opportunities, like checking out the many viewpoints, or the ton of attractions here, or my personal favorite, the historic Stanley Hotel. Uh, this historic hotel was used for filming Dumb and Dumber, and quite a few people consider it haunted. But it's just a really cool hotel to check out, and anyone can go and check it out. Next, we have the very iconic town of Aspen. There's a lot to do and eat in the town, but everything in this town is a bit more spendy than you'll find elsewhere in Colorado. But the best things to check out here are the iconic Maroon Bells. You can take a bus or drive right up to the lake. I personally enjoyed hiking them, but that is a very, very difficult task to do. You should definitely have some experience before doing something like that. There's a lot of backpacking opportunities here in the Castle Conundrum Wilderness. For example, Conundrum Hot Springs is a popular place to check out. And then to the east, you have Independence Pass, and there are a ton of hiking opportunities here as well. And of course, some swimming opportunities. But if you're not into hiking, just take a drive up Independence Pass as you're going to find awesome views. It really is a cool drive, along with the Maroon Bells. Next, we have the town of Leadville. Leadville has one of the more iconic main streets in Colorado, as it's kept a lot of its old mining buildings, including an old opera house. Pretty cool. It is also surrounded by Colorado's highest mountains. For example, you could hike Colorado's highest peak, Mount Albert, or Mount Massive, the second highest. On top of the hiking here, you're going to find a ton of off-roading opportunities here as well, or just hanging out by Turquoise Lake. Some people enjoy taking a ride on the train here, but my favorite thing to do here is to go east of town and check out the old mining district. A great way to do that is to go on the Mineral Belt Trail, which weaves around this area, or take a bike up there, or a car, or just hike. It's a pretty cool area to check out. Next, we're going to head to northern Colorado. Steamboat Springs. It's a really cool town. I enjoy hanging out here. There's plenty to see and eat on the main street here or hang out by the river where you can go tubing down the river or fishing. And of course, there's a good amount of hiking opportunities around here. Uh, Fish Creek Falls is a super popular area to check out. Uh, some people go north to Steamboat Lake State Park. And my personal favorite thing to do here is to soak in the Strawberry Hot Springs. It's a cool hot springs owned by the town. And it's just out in nature, away from everything, and there's multiple pools you can just chill in and relax. Next, we have the town of Glenwood Springs. There is a lot to do in this town. 
Uh, there's a ton of great restaurants, uh, cool things to see on Main Street, including a vaudeville theater. The town also has an amusement park that is sitting on the hill above it. You have to take a gondola just to get to the amusement park. There's also a cave you can check out in the amusement park. There's also some caves hidden in the area around Glenwood Springs. There are two hot spring resorts in town, uh, a more family-oriented one with uh, slides and activities to do, and then a more adult-themed one with just pools to sit in and drink. But my personal favorite thing to check out here is Hanging Lake. It has become pretty popular in the past few years, but it is really cool. Glenwood Canyon is just neat on its own, but on top of that, you have this lake that's just sitting on the edge of a cliff, and it's just this awesome green color that is fed from water from a spring. Next, we have the town of Crested Butte, an old mining town as well. This town has a very colorful, beautiful, and well-decorated Main Street. There's some really good restaurants here as well. The town is also known as the wildflower capital of the world, so come in early summer to check that out. Uh, some of my favorite opportunities are west or northwest of town, but my favorite reason to come to Crested Butte is to check out the fall colors. Uh, there is a lot of it here. It's quite awesome to see. Oh, and also, they have some weird festivals here. All right, next we have the town of Telluride. It's situated in this beautiful box canyon. There are a ton of waterfalls in the area, including Ingram Falls, which you can see right from Main Street. My favorite one being Bridalville Falls, which you can hike right up to or even above. There's also going to be a lot of hiking opportunities here, an easy one being Bear Creek Falls. But you're also going to find some amazing alpine lakes not far from town. There will be a video coming out about this region soon, so be sure to subscribe. Alright, last we have the town of Boulder, located not too far from Denver. You're going to find some of the better restaurants in the state of Colorado here. And you can explore the famous Pearl Street Mall, check out some farmer's markets, or the many, many breweries that this town has. On top of it, you have the iconic Flatirons. There's a ton of hiking opportunities here, whether you're just hiking around to get a good view of the Flatirons, or a hike up into them and on top of them, or check out the Royal Arch. There's a lot of cool stuff to see here. Besides the Flatirons, there are also a ton of other hiking opportunities west of town here. An easy one to check out would be Boulder Falls. That concludes my list of the top 11 towns to visit in the state of Colorado. And be sure to subscribe about more Colorado videos coming out every Sunday and check out my previous videos.